Top 10 Hybrid Animals That Actually Exist You've probably heard of a mule, which is a hybrid animal made up of a male donkey and a female horse, a cross between a female donkey and a male horse. So here we present hybrid animals in tea video. Did you know that we are surrounded by a variety of hybrid animals? According to definitions, species are collections of similar individuals that can interbreed or exchange genes. A hybrid animal, on the other hand, develops when parents from two distinct, but typically very closely related, species can have children. While some of these hybrid species emerge naturally, most do so as a result of human intervention and selective breeding. Ten of them are presented below. Number 10, Tiger and Black Panther Hybrids. Any combination of the five species that make up the genus Panthera, the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard, and snow leopard is considered a hybrid. Because males are typically infertile, most hybrids would not survive in the wild. Wild hybrids were also present in prehistoric times, according to research on the mitochondrial genome. Because the mitochondrial genomes of the snow leopard and the lion were more similar to one another than to those of other panthera species, it can be assumed that at some point in the past, female descendants of male ancestors of modern snow leopards and female descendants of male ancestors of modern lions interbred. Number 9 Liger Lioness and Tiger The largest cat alive today, the liger may weigh up to 420 kilograms and is a cross between a male lion and a female tiger. Their tan-colored fur has delicate striped patterns that eventually disappear in various spots. Since their parents' habitats do not coincide, tigers are not known to exist in the wild, instead, they have only been observed in captivity where they have been carefully nurtured. Number 8. Hybrid of Zebra and Donkey Zonkey is a term used to describe a zebra and donkey hybrid. A zonkey is a zebra and a donkey hybrid. Zebras and donkeys are linked and both are members of the horse family. There are not many zonkeys. If you want to be picky, according to the AZ of animals, a zonkey can only truly be classified as such if its parents are a male zebra and a female donkey. You get a zebadonk if you cross a male donkey with a female zebra. Unfortunately, the zonkey, like the mule and liger, is sterile and unable to create progeny of its own. Although they are extremely rare and the bulk of zonkeys are found in zoos worldwide, zonkeys can nevertheless exist in the wild. A video of a baby zonkey from a recent birth in Mexico, April 2014, is available. Number 7, Savannah Cat. The savannah is a crossbreed of cats. It is the offspring of a serval and a domestic cat hybrid. Usually, the progeny of this combination is huge and lanky with vividly patterned coats. The largest domestic cat breed is the Savannah Cat. A domestic cat and a serval, a medium-sized, large-eared wild African cat, are bred to create a Savannah Cat. At the end of the 1990s, this uncommon hybrid gained popularity among breeders, and the International Cat Association Tika, recognized it as a brand new official breed in 2001. It was recognized as a championship breed by Tika in May 2012. The tall, lean frame of the savanna makes them appear larger than they are. Size varies significantly by sex and generation, with F1 hybrid male cats typically being the largest. Due to the larger genetic effect of the African serval ancestor, the F1 and F2 generations are typically the largest. Similar to other hybrid cats like the Chazi and Bengal cat, the majority of first-generation cats will exhibit many of the exotic characteristics of the serval, However, these characteristics frequently diminish in later generations. Savannah males are often bigger than females. Number 6, the beefalo. Beef is a hybrid offspring of domestic cattle, Bostaurus, which in managed breeding programs is typically a male, and the American bison, bison bison, which in managed breeding programs is typically a female. To produce meat, the breed was developed to mix the traits of the two species, the Breed Association defines a full beefalo as having 3 eighths, 37.5%, bison genetics, while animals with higher percentages of bison genetics are referred to as bison hybrids. Beefalo are largely cattle in genetics and appearance. During British settlement in the southern regions of North America in 1749, accidental crosses were first noted. Midway through the 19th century, the first purposeful crossbreeding of cattle and bison occurred. 
Early research revealed that mating a male bison to a domestic cow would result in few progenies, but mating a domestic bull to a bison cow seemed to address the issue. The female progeny were fertile, but the males were rarely so. Despite the Catalo's excellent performance, the breeder was forced to keep a herd of untamed, challenging to handle bison cows due to mating issues. Number 5. Glowler Bear The unusual ursid hybrid known as a grizzly polar bear hybrid, also known as a grolar bear, pizzly bear, zebra bear, grizzly, or annular, has been seen in both the wild and in captivity. By analyzing the DNA of an unusual appearing bear that had been shot nearby Saks Harbor, Northwest Territories, on Banks Island in the Canadian Arctic, it was determined in 2006 that this hybrid existed in nature. Since then, eight proven hybrids have been discovered, all descended from the same mother polar bear. There have been reports of possible wild-bred polar bear-grizzly bear hybrids in the past, but DNA tests were not available to confirm the bear's origin. The majority of the time, they resemble both polar bears and grizzly bears in terms of physical characteristics. Their heads lay between the wider grizzly head and the leaner polar bear head, while their bodies are larger than grizzlies but smaller than polar bears. They have modest shoulder humps like grizzlies but lengthy necks like polar bears. Polar bears have fur-covered soles, which serve as insulation, but grizzlies have hairless soles. Both species' feet are partially covered with hair. Number 4, Holfen. An extremely unusual cetacean hybrid called a holfen, a combination of the words whale and dolphin, is produced when a female common bottlenose dolphin and a male fake killer whale mate. The name suggests a mix of a whale and a dolphin, even though taxonomically, both belong to the family of oceanic dolphins, which is a suborder of toothed whales. Both reports of holfens in the wild and captivity have been made. The first known holfen was born in a sea world in Tokyo in 1981 and passed away after 200 days. Kekamalu, whose name means from the tranquil ocean, was the first holfen to be born in the United States and the first to live to adulthood. She was born on May 15, 1985, at Sea Life Park in Hawaii. Kekamalu demonstrated her fertility by giving birth at an early age. Number 3, a pig monkey cross. To better understand the development of human organs for animal transplantation, Chinese scientists have successfully developed hybrids of pig and monkey. The DNA of macaque monkeys was discovered in the hearts, livers, spleens, lungs, and skin of the two chimeric piglets, even though both of them passed away within a week of birth. They were developed from more than 4,000 implanted embryos at the time. Number 2, Tigan. The hybrid offspring of a male panther, panthera tigris, and a female lion is known as a tigan, slash tan slash, tiglin, slash talk slash, or tian, slash tan slash, panthera leo. Since lions possess the gene for spots, lion babies are born with spots, and some adults still have faint markings, they can have both stripes from the father and spots from the mother. Any mane that a male tigan may have resembles a male tiger's rough more than a lion's mane because it is shorter and less prominent. The idea that tigans are smaller than lions or tigers is a widespread one. They do not develop larger than their parent species due to the growth inhibitory genes that they inherited from both parents, but they also do not display dwarfism or shrinkage. Number 1, Narwhal. The narwhal, also called a narwhal, Monodon monoceros, is a medium-sized toothed whale with a prominent canine tooth that serves as its tusk. In the Arctic waters off Greenland, Canada, and Russia, it spends the entire year. Along with the beluga whale, it is one of only two species of extant whales in the family Monodontidae and the sole member of the genus Monodon. Narwhals have a mottled pattern on their skin that features blackish-brown markings on a white backdrop. At birth, they are the darkest, and as they age, they get lighter. When they reach sexual maturity, white patches appear on their navel and vaginal slit. Male seniors may be virtually entirely white. The lack of a dorsal fin in narwhals may be an evolutionary adaptation that allows them to roll more freely, swim more quickly beneath the ice, or reduce surface area and heat loss. This is the end of this video. Do you feel it interesting? Give your feedback in our comment section and subscribe to our YouTube channel.